Alright, here's another example of finding derivatives using the product rule along with the chain rule. So again, I see two separate pieces here being multiplied. So the derivative of this, if I take the derivative of x to the fourth, I'll get 4x to the third. You leave the other piece alone. And then from that, I will leave the x to the fourth alone. And I'll take the derivative of the other piece, remembering I have to use the chain rule. So the 3 will come out front. I'll leave the inside part alone. So 5x minus 1. I'll take 1 away and get to the second power. And then multiply that by 5. So at this point, we have to basically clean things up a little bit. And this can be the tricky part. So there's really nothing to simplify in the first part. So I'm going to leave that part alone and I'm gonna multiply things out over on the right side so notice I have a 3 and a 5 that's gonna give me the 15 I have x to the fourth still hanging out and then I have a 5x minus 1 squared now at this point we can keep factoring even a little further okay so I look at my numbers there's a 4 and a 15 well the largest number that goes into 4 and 15 is just simply 1 so you can't really factor a number out Notice I have an x to the third power and an x to the fourth power. Well, I can factor out an x to the third power. Notice also I have a 5x minus 1. I have another 5x minus 1. Just like with the x's, you have to pull out the smaller power. I'll pull out the smaller power. So I can pull out 5x minus 1 squared. And then I'm just going to fill things back in on the parentheses. So to get the first term, I'll need my 4, because I'm missing the 4. I'm going to need an extra 5x minus 1 term, because, again, I've got two of them outside. I need an extra one on the inside. So notice, notice if I multiply the first thing to the first thing here, I will get my first term. Well, I'm going to need a 15 and an x to get back the second term. And now you can simply reduce things down inside of the parentheses. So if you distribute, you'll get 20x plus 15x. That's 35x. You'll get 4 times negative 1, which is negative 4. And that's now simplified and factored. So these problems are a little confusing. I think people know how to do the derivatives. Some of the factoring can get a little tricky, but here's a nice basic example on what you need to do.